Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to introduce you to some great vitamin A alternatives. Now, many of you would know that vitamin A has been rigorously studied and very clinically proven to be great to enhance cell turnover, thicken the epidermis, has significant anti-aging benefits, and also suitable for anti-acne. But there's a lot of downsides with using vitamin A too. There are some regulatory restrictions, there are a lot of safety and irritation issues with using vitamin A. It's also synthetic and it's a very unstable material to work with. So we need to formulate very carefully to make sure we get a good shelf life and performance out of a vitamin A product. With so many incompatibilities, not only in the formula, but also for the user, it's great to know there are some great plant-based alternatives out there. And that's what I'm gonna be introducing you to in this video. Now, first of all, I just wanted to show you the color difference. So this serum here I've made with vitamin A, your retinol. And as you can see, very yellow, and I've had to formulate it to be very compatible with the vitamin A to maintain its stability over its shelf life. But then I've also prepared the same product but using these materials here, my vitamin A alternatives. And as you can see, first of all, I have ended up with very white finished products. Now this formula is definitely available with this video, but let me talk you through the different materials and why you might choose them for your next developments. The first material I wanna introduce you to is Citinol A by Scythion. Now as you can see, it's quite a golden color. It is oil soluble, but in a finished product, you do end up with that beautiful white looking emulsion. So the color of the raw material is not an issue in the finished product. Now, one of the things I love about this material, it is plant sourced from Bacuccio. And if you look at the data comparing it with vitamin A or retinol, it's a very similar substance in terms of its comparative gene expression profile, uh, its modulating activity, um, its activity in vitro, and also its collagen stimulating performance. One of the great things about Citinol A is it also has proven anti-inflammatory activity. So it's the reverse of vitamin A. Vitamin A, of course, can sometimes cause a lot of sensitivities in users. This material has the opposite effect. It actually improves skin sensitivities and reduces inflammation, even in sensitive skin types. It actually has better performance than vitamin A in the dermal epidermal junction skin scaffolding and structural integrity. So it has clinically proven results at 0.5% in anti-aging products and you can use it at 1% with 2% salicylic acid in anti-acne products for some great results as well. Now when formulating with this material, it is oil soluble, but you can add it to emulsions at the end after the emulsion has cooled below 40 degrees. You should make sure the final pH is below six and avoid copper and iron in your finished product or use a chelating agent to help make sure it achieves the best shelf life. It's also best in opaque or dark packaging. Avoid light with the finished product as well. The next material I wanna introduce you to is Lana Blue by Lucas Meyer. Now it's got this gorgeous blue color as a raw material, but again, in the finished product, as you can see, it has no impact in that final product. Now this material is sourced from blue green algae, but it's also got a high content of B group vitamins, amino acids, and specific pigments, which gives it that beautiful blue color. It specifically acts like natural retinoids on keratinocyte differentiation, providing a smoothing and densifying effect for the epidermis. A cream using 3% Lana Blue has been clinically proven to reduce the wrinkles of volunteers by up to 32% over a 21 day period. So very fast and effective results comparable with vitamin A. It's a water soluble material, so it goes easily into your formulations at the final stages after your emulsion has cooled below 40 degrees. Its optimum pH range in a finished product is between five and seven. And it's a particularly great addition in your formulations where you're looking for that anti-aging wrinkle smoothing effect 
by redensifying the skin in just 21 days. It's also got that green blue algae story so it's great in marine based products where you're wanting this type of performance and of course it's got the additional vitamins and minerals present as well. The final material I want to introduce you to is Rennie Seed by Lipatrue. It's a beautiful clear solution and of course in a finished product leaves you with a very white emulsion. Now this material too has strong retinol like performance. It's been clinically proven to boost epidermal thickness by up to 20% and in vivo it's shown up to 42% reduction in wrinkle count, up to 31% reduction in wrinkle volume and up to 37% reduction in wrinkle depth in 28 days. It can also boost skin radiance by up to 42% in a 28 day period. It's also great to boost skin firmness, elasticity and hydration and refine pore size. To add it into formulations it is water soluble so adds easily into your emulsions in the final stages once your emulsion has cooled below 40 degrees. It's also stable over a pH range of 5 to 8 making it easy to incorporate into a variety of formulations. Well there you go, some great vitamin A alternatives that are plant based, non irritating and still give you the great performance results you'd expect from vitamin A without the incompatibilities and irritation issues. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!